If you have a rip screen like this here because your dog is in the porch quite a bit and doesn't like to use a dog door, you may have some real problems here and you should begin probably by training the dog, but we're gonna begin by re-screening this porch and then we'll maybe figure out the training the dog thing later on. Evie, sit. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Don't jump out the screen porch. Here you go, boy. You don't need training. You're just happy to be alive. Yeah, you're just so happy. Today we're gonna to be working on installing one of these screen tight systems. And actually I'm just a spokesperson in this video while Tessa does the work here, cause she knows how to do this. She's already replaced one of them over here. So now we're just gonna do it on a few more screens that have quite a bit of dog damage done to them. I don't know why I'm doing this. You're the prettier one. <laughs> oh no, I'm not. <laughs> it's super quick to do. She knocked that first one out in just a few minutes. So we're gonna show you exactly how we did it. To begin, we'll just pop off this front trim. We have a mini crowbar we're using, but a flathead screwdriver would work too. And once you get one in started, it's easy to pull off the rest. Just be delicate with it because you will be putting this back. I should re-emphasize we're actually replacing the screen, not installing a brand new. The only thing we're missing out from the initial installation is installing this strip itself, which all you do is screw on here. And that's essentially it, so it's the easy part. Um, we're gonna show you the, the details of replacing the screen. With the casing off, the spline can be removed and once again, just use a flathead screwdriver to get it started. This is like a small rubbery rope and if you take care of this, the spline can also be reused and save you a ton of money. The other advantage to reusing is that splines come in different sizes and if you reuse, you know you have the exact size already because it's already been done. Once the screen is removed, you can use that to get your measurements for the new screen. This is way easier than grabbing a measuring tape and messing with that. Just roll the new piece on top of the old. Pro tip, if you turn the roller over, you can actually just roll it and then it opens up the screen. Yeah, but then it rolls <laughs> just up. Sure. can be a little difficult if you've only got one person doing it, but in order to get that screen secured up here, you can use the spline tool without the actual spline yet and just run the screen into the groove and it then starts giving you a little hold so that you can use two hands to then put the spline in. The first pass through on the spline was tricky to get down. It's something you kind of have to get a feel for. But the second run went much smoother than the first, and then the third even better. Also, I know you're vibing to this good background music, but I should mention a few things here. For one, we're reusing the old spline because it was still in good shape, and it saved quite a bit of money. And second, both the spline and the spline tool roller here can be purchased on Amazon. I'll have everything linked down in my description below. And now you gotta lock in these grooves with the inside of this and get like a rubber mallet, which I didn't have on the materials list earlier. And this will help so you don't damage your pieces here.
That's seriously all there is to it. I put this off for a while thinking it would be difficult, but it's not. I hope I made replacing a screen simple for you. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button for me and I'll see you on the next one.